the the Dark Ages was broken, was formally broken with the Protestant victory um, in the first Thirty Years' War from 1618 to 1648. And uh, with that victory in 1648, modern historians will tell you that the modern era began. And that was the formal end of the Dark Ages. Ten million people died in the Thirty Years' War. It was a war of annihilation against the German Protestant people. Well, in World War II, Dresden was uh, the coup de grace, the, the, the finalization of the destruction. World War II, the second Thirty Years' War from 1914 to 1945, was the final destruction of the Reformation in Germany. It's been destroyed. Prussia ceased to exist as a nation in 1946. And the foundation for that judgment and session of that Protestant nation was because it was taken over and infested by high-level Freemasonry, beginning with Frederick the Great of Prussia. It should never have allowed it, and that's why I advocate the shutting down of every Masonic Lodge in this country. Every one of them, I don't care what they're, what they're affiliated with, how many good deeds they do, they're an engine of destruction for Protestantism, because it's Luciferian, it's Babylonian, it's religion, it's Egyptian, and it's religion, exactly as the Jesuits are who wrote all the rites. That's what, uh, that's what we need to do to restore our country. So we're going back to the Dark Ages, which is exactly what R.W. Thompson said. He was a secretary of the American Navy in the 1870s, I believe, and he wrote the only, the only history of the Jesuit order, apart from mine, in 1894 called The Footprints of the Jesuits. And in The Footprints of the Jesuits, he tells you very many times over that the Jesuits seek to restore the Dark Ages. And therefore, they are, they are the devoted and implacable enemies of Protestantism, and therefore of this once Protestant Republic. So we are going, the New Age movement is Teilhard de Chardin's clandestine movement to the Dark Ages. Because all, because all we want to do is pull people away from reading the Bible. If they don't read the Bible, they will believe anything. Because they have no absolutes anymore. And that's what we want as Jesuits. We don't care if they're atheists. We don't care if they're Buddhists. We don't care if they're whatever Tom Cruise is, what's that, uh, Scientologist. Scientologist. We want them in anything and in everything except the AV 1611 Reformation Bible because this is called an asp by the Jesuits. It bites us. It stings us. And we have to grab it like a, like a serpent and turn it into a rod, as Moses did, so that it has no effect anymore on the population. And once it has no effect on the pulpits and the population, our quest for universal political power will be complete. So how do we do this? Well, we're going to have theosophy in the 1800s, and the modern-day equivalent of that is the New Age movement, of which Teilhard de Chardin was the father of, and he was, according to my friend Christopher Strump, he was in the Office of Naval Intelligence while he was in China, uh, bringing about his fraudulent hoax of the Peking man, and then he was also later involved in the Central Intelligence Agency, this Jesuit. So. Anything they can do to tear us away from the Bible, and, and most assuredly, you have to get the Bible out of the public school. This abomination cannot be read there. After all, we have to have separation of church and state. By the way, Jefferson never met the separation of the Bible from culture. He meant what his Baptist overseers meant. You were not going to have an organized church operation well, united with this government in Washington. That's what they meant. Which the Church of England, Jesuits taken over. Uh, the papacy, which the Jesuits had taken over. They knew if you have a centralized <clears throat> religion, united with a state, the Jesuits are going to run it. So no way. They put it in the First Amendment, which is a Baptist document. The Bill of Rights is a Baptist document written by a Baptist, James Madison, who was not a Mason at the behest of the Baptist preacher of Virginia, John Leland. Without Leland and the Baptists of Virginia, there would be no Bill of Rights. And the Baptists of Rhode Island. So, we're going back to the Dark Ages, that is correct.